Hey folks, it is Catherine Strikes Day 113, and I have a posse of helpers today, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Here they are. What is your name? Dustin. Dustin. And Dustin, you're first on the tracking device. Excellent. What's your name? Robert. Robert, and, and you are the uh, radio tender, right? Okay, good. Sydney. Sydney. Excellent. Janet. Janet. And? Robert. Robert. Shannon. Shannon. Chase. Hey, Trace. <laughs> Clint. Clint. Milton. Milton. All right, and Larkay is hiding back here. All right, let's go. Let's track this turtle and find her and see where she is. Yes, I think I know. Do you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. All right, lead us there. You just walk down the trail until you get a beep. Good job, man. No beeps yet, Trace? Okay, let's keep going. Blackberries. Not so much? It's good, isn't it? Delicious. Feels like I cut it. Nothing yet? No. Okay, well, we're getting closer. And you see this field down here? Yeah. This is the field where Catherine is usually spending her time this time of year. I know milkweed. You do? Uh-huh. Caterpillars eat the milkweed, so but it doesn't poison them. But if other animals try and eat it, they'll die because milkweed is pretty much poisonous. That's I right. Yeah. Good job. Learning that at school. Oh, we have a critter. Oh, you know what that is? What is it? That. Move. That is a red eft. Oh, and a red yay. eft yeah, is guys. the land form of the red spotted newt that lives in our ponds and creeks. And you got You can hold them, but they're very fragile. They're also poisonous. So maybe oh, we shouldn't hold them. <laughs> Do you find many of them? Yes, lots of them. You now, if you want to hold him, you got to hold your hand under him, let him crawl on your hand. They're only poisonous if you eat him. There you go. Oh, don't let him drop. I'm not. Yeah, because they'll run sometimes. He's on my finger. Mm -hmm. On his hand. He's getting him on your hand. He's trying to bite you. Nah. My mom put no. him down on the ground. <laughs> they probably knew you came last time and they left the scene. Yeah, really. Hundred and twelve times, that's enough. I'm out of here. Good teamwork. Yeah. Is this a summertime thing for you young lady? No, sir. It isn't. Year round. Year round. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't worry you might be going to school with Oh no. Nothing. Okay, let's keep going. Oh ma'am. All right, folks, well, we did not find Catherine, and that is uh, pretty unusual, but um, I'm not sure why we haven't found her. It could be something wrong with the radio. 
It could just be that she's moved so far that I, I can't get close enough to get a signal. So then we came to try to find Jimmy and can't find Jimmy. So I'm leaning more towards a radio issue if I don't find Jimmy. So um, although we have failed in finding turtles today, it is not lost because we have just, you know, been doing some good science out here in that um, we are still learning something about their movements, even though we can't find them. And our movements, well, we did some hiking today. So what did you think about that, Lark Kate? Highly enjoyable. Made a flower bouquet. Awesome. And what about you, Trace? Did you have fun? You like hiking? Cool. Show them how we do. What's that? Did you have I fun? love the inclination that the natives have taken Catherine to the economy. She's on a, a dinner table somewhere. <laughs> oh, that's terrible, man. How about you? What do you think? It was great. Good hike. It was a good hike, wasn't it? Good hike. Okay, how about the rest of you guys? What about you guys? What do you think? We got some good flowers too, right, Sydney? Yeah. Good. Good flowers. And how about you? Well, I learned a lot of new things. I think I lost 50 pounds. But you only weigh like 50 pounds. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, sorry about not finding the turtles, but we will find something someday. Good news is, turtle soup for lunch today. Oh, man. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks. We'll see you. Thank you. Well, there's Jimmy. I found him. Even with a malfunctioning antenna. And there he is. Now, that is one good looking turtle. And look on his beak. That looks like slug or snail juice. And here comes one of his little buddies to clean the juice. Oh, he bit him in the eye. Okay, that is not good, Mr. Ant. I thought he was going to come up and clean the slug juice off his face, but he knew he was going after the water in Jimmy's eye, probably. And he pinched him. Poor Jimmy. Look at all that slug juice on his beak. At least he's been getting a good feed down here in the garden. That's right, that's where I found him. He's just right in the uh, corner of the garden up above where the, um, where the watermelons are planted. I don't even see them anymore, but we used to have watermelons planted in here. But anyway, that was a, a good morning, even though we only found Jimmy. We didn't find Catherine because this wire is apparently defunct. This is the uh, positive terminal of the um, antenna's coax cable. So I'm going to have to take this to the uh, radio shop and get a new one. It's apparently not working anymore, at least not working adequately. So I had to disassemble it and stick this end in the radio just to get it to work. And it didn't work very well at that. So this is, that is why we did not find Catherine this morning. Because of defective equipment. Well, at least I did find Jimmy. So I do believe Catherine is perfectly fine. And we just were unable to locate her signal because she had gone farther than my uh, defective radio was going to allow me to pick up. So I'll have to go back over there tonight after work and see if I can find her. See you later, Jimmy.